Hello everyone and welcome back to some more EU4 Common Sense as Brittany. And uh, yeah, let's get started here. So obviously we won our war with England and that actually gives us a nice boost to our income. Four ducats from war operations. That is very, very good and that will allow us to fully maintain our army, which may not be the most you know, important thing to do. Oh, actually we still have our 2,000 men over here. I totally forgot about them. Uh, you know what? Um, yeah, sure. Let's bring them over here. Yes, transport, whatever. So yeah, we're gonna get these guys over. By the way, what, do they? Yeah, they, they stay. Yeah, we don't want to have them running around over there. We don't have that conquista though anyways. We didn't find the seven cities of gold, which is unfortunate. Maybe we're gonna do another search later on. But I doubt we will. Oh, and Sardinia has just... Sardinia? Huh. Must have been new. Whatever. I want to start colonizing. Come on. Military tech cost is reduced. We still can't do it. Which will give us a new ca uh, artillery. Which we would be... Would be quite useful, actually. Okay, so we have provincial unrest, and we also have rebel uprising. So hopefully they're not going to rise up. That would be quite a pain. But yeah, 25. I like that. I, f I wonder how far this can go if this is if this is capped at 25. And here's our ship. They have just arrived. Very very good. Okay, great. So you all go over here, please. Now I wonder, should I actually pay my fort? Because, you know, I mean, there's not really a reason not to pay for it. On the other side, it would save half a ducat every every single uh, month. Oh, what's this? No, your heir is a sickly baby. He's constantly ill, and his physical weakness leads him to get more injured more often as well. He'll be lucky to survive to adulthood, and even if he does, his condition will likely plague him for his whole life. This is very unfortunate. But yeah, we're actually having some really issues. We have some, we have some real issues with our uh, rulers here. I mean, we do have. I mean, Duke Arthur is actually pretty good, and his son does look good too. But wow, it's just—it's not that easy. This this mod certainly makes. Um, several things much more interesting and I've just picked the inflation because we have something that reduces inflation so I might as well I mean, we're almost losing yeah 0.2 inflation a year so we might as well however since we're not really having any big rebel uprising we could actually lower our army funding um, so let's do that that's gonna actually save quite a lot of cash. I guess I guess we'll just leave the fort on, otherwise it's a hassle to constantly lose. Now here's a weird thing. It said that this citadel will be replaced by the new Star Fort. But that okay, that is the case. Okay, I see. And we've entered the Royal Mansion with Saxony again. Okay. Muscovy is still around. Good for them, I guess. Oh my god, but the Golden Hood looks just so nasty. Gee. I wonder who's gonna colonize then. I mean, maybe Perm? Who knows? But yeah, there's still a Vassal. Come on. Vassal of no guy this time though. Okay. So yeah, the Europeans are gonna be completely blocked off from colonizing over there by the Hordes. Which is very interesting, I've never seen that, really. Alright, so you guys can just, uh, you know, protect trade in Bordeaux, give us some, uh, little more cash. Oh, we're making eight ducats. Okay, well, it was seven. It, it was eight. Now it's seven only, but still pretty good. And um, we have a second son. This is cause for celebration. Hopefully he doesn't suck as much as our first one. We could become the friend of the faith. Hell no. 
Oh, there's some more we can do. Invest in provincial administration. So what does that do? Uh, invest in improving your local administration in the provinces. This will permanently decrease the administrative efficiency cost of our provinces by 5%. I mean, if they say permanently, I hope they actually mean permanently, like until the end of the game, no matter how my government changes and all that. But let's try that. Let's actually, yeah, okay, let's do that. Lose 100 points. So we should get a modifier here. And our truth is ended. Oh, there it is. The Protestant Reformation. In 1535, we have the Protestant Reformation that has started in Oldenburg. Now, I could actually do this myself. I could convert right now. Um, to get a center of tr a center of reformation, um, but where is it? If I do this, I will. What will I get? I'm not gonna get decreased church lands, increased dukes lands. Okay, okay. I guess that would be a good thing to do, and we will get a center of reformation. Um. However, however, the problem is, Morbihan will be a center of reformation. So, well, we're gonna re we're gonna probably uh, do I do this? The problem with this is France will not like us as much anymore. They will actually not like us at all, and we're dependent on them, really. We don't, we don't have any other allies, and they get easily crushes. I mean, look at their troops. We have no chance. And also, without France, England could crush us. We're not really in a position to do this. I would love to do it, but just not in a position to do it. And so far, no one else has changed, so I guess I won't be doing this. We'll have to wait. I do like, have, I do like the idea of having an, a center of reformation. I I just can't I just can't do that at the moment. I don't feel safe enough. Maybe if we have a wrong match with France, then maybe we can do it. But first get the military tech. Get the admin tech. And yeah. That should give us that. Some bonuses. Uh Tercio. No, actually they've enhanced the artillery only. We're gonna get the one that fires better. Cool Rudin. So yeah, we've, we're regaining our manpower very slowly because our um, work exhaustion is very high, but we need our diplomats at this very second. I want to start colonizing. Please. Still at 25%. And what is their military attack? It's 10 as well. Okay. They're 9. Wow. So yeah, not a lot of people seem to be able to catch up or stay up to date with... Uh, military technology and Castile just declared war on Aragon so you are fighting only Aragon and you didn't even join okay maybe they are no they're not seems like they're, they're gonna stay put I right, should I reform should I do it I really don't know I kind of want to I really do but I'm gonna lose my allies. It's not a smart thing to do. <sighs> I want this center of reformation. So yeah, they they're converting already. But it does take quite a while. We're gonna have an gonna have issues with this, I guess. New monarch in France, King Louis de Trastamara. He's at war with Aragon, okay. There's a new king. Alright, well that war is going to be over very soon. France is just overpowered. Luckily they have some rebels, but they're not going to stop them. They're too strong. But we're making 10 ducats every month. That is godly. Uh oh, and there we go. England converted to Protestant. And Denmark did as well, so did Norway. Alright, so that was it with the Sentence of Reformation, I guess. Yep. 
All right, no more center for reformation. So we have one in Denmark, one in Norway, and one over in Oldenburg. All right, I guess we are not gonna convert then. <laughs> Jay. Ah man. Yeah, I should have done it earlier, but I missed it. I missed the opportunity to do it. But there should be some. Yeah, we can we can do something. Charters of incorporation. We can choose to sell charters of incorporation to the merchant oligarchs who administer the towns. These charters will give them clearly defined powers and greatly strengthen their authority at the expense of the local nobles and gentry. Yes, I will do that. So we gain money, um, lose admin power, but the bourgeoisie strengthens is being strengthened. Yes, I want to go. I want to destroy. Basically, I want to destroy the nobility. Um, they're just annoying. I will ally with the merchants and I will free the peasants. That is the goal of this campaign. And obviously I want to have a absolute monarchy basically. Changing opinions. Bourgeoisie is pleased so we're gonna get some more trade. I like that. I like money. Making 10 ducats is really good. Really really good. So England's already starting to convert Lose stability or lose money. Money is going to be lost. Stability is holy. You cannot lose it. And the Hansa is Protestant. Okay. So more and more people are uh, becoming Protestant. I, I, I see that. I like it. Okay. That's pretty good for them. Yeah, more and more provinces are being... They're so far away. So there's not worth doing that at the moment. We're just gonna chill out. However, I will actually... I will actually con uh, fabricate claims here. On mm, marches. And I will also fabricate some claims on you, on Ulster. There you go. We're gonna attack these guys at some point. With French help or without. Truth has expired. It's always good. Um, ooh, the theater. That looks nice. And we can <laughs> unlock a new idea group. Interesting. Now I wonder if it's time for us to change our diplomatic, uh, our national focus, because we're 14 years ahead. 14 years. We may want to go. For military here. I'm gonna change the military. Simply because we have some catching up to do. I mean, we have more catching up in the diplomatic uh, area to do, but that is not the most important. So it's fine. Plus, we have an advisor right there. Aragon will see two provinces to France and two to Castile. Ouch. Yeah, you just get boned, man. We need to uh, find a new ally. Burgundy still has that personal union over Naples, which is very cool. We are still, yeah, we're still married to Saxony and allied to these guys. Okay, so hopefully France will help us against England. I doubt they will, but they might. How's religion? Doing? Yeah, it's spreading very quickly, especially over here in Scandinavia. Norway is spreading very quickly. Denmark, obviously. Not so much northern Germany, but, you know, it's getting there. Once we have enough claims, we're going to declare war. This guy is still allied to... Sp oh, Spain has formed. Interesting. No more Castile, Spain. And they have really taken bits of Portugal, Aragon, yeah. Very, very good. I wonder if they're still gonna be... I mean, Spain and France allies is just not a good idea. That is just... This powerhouse, it needs to go down somehow. I have not really figured out how we do this, but... They're just too strong. Um, I probably need some more cavalry. But next, I'm gonna build this maybe artillery... I don't know. Nah, I'm not gonna build them. I'm not a full manpower, so I don't have to. Spain. That's pretty cool, I like that. 
chain centralization will shall do that actually um, because we can always set it back uh, domestic just centralization increase it sure we're more centralized at least it should come okay so what did it change we gain more production efficiency tax but at the cost of advisor and stability. Yeah, I I think that seems quite all right. We also get relationship and liberties can be changed. Okay, let's do that as well. Um, government oh, serve them, increase liberties. Good. Changing opinions. Nobles are displeased. Ah, oh, whatever. Who cares about it? And limited rights. Um, so what does that do? Oh, we actually... Oh, that was actually not that good. Well, we have... Okay, so our tech cost. We get less tech cost. Um, but more infantry cost. Manpower goes down. Our morale goes up. Goods produced goes up. And we also lose tax. I don't know if that was really a good choice. I think serve them abolish was probably better than what we have right now. Because losing manpower, having higher infantry cost, that is really going to hurt us. Also less tax, more stability cost. Hmm, maybe that was too much. Maybe we're going to go back. That was really actually a lot. I think serve them abolished is pretty good. We're going to stay with that. Alright, I'm not going to change liberties. For, for, for the next couple of years. There's no reason to do that. But we can do some more things. Uh, we can seize peasant lands. Yes, we will do that. Um, yeah. There we go. Peasants should be pissed off. Uh, we are cruel now. <laughs> Alright. That is probably not a good thing. That is his second tyranny. Peasants are dissatisfied. Well, what can I say? I just increased your liberties. You should be happy. Um, we are oppressive. Wow, that is actually five national unrest. Are you kidding me? That is actually very bad. Wow. We are cruel. The ruler is absolutely brutal and merciless. He, she actually takes pleasure in the pain and suffering of others. That is not even true. We just seize lands. This decreases the chance of rebellions, increases defense against foreign spies, and gives the ruler additional methods to maintain the country's support for war. However, very few people like the ruler damaging foreign relations, making few advisors available, and increasing the ruler's legitimacy. We have superior administration. This is the maximum level. Interesting. Um, how about oppressive ruler? Yeah, that is not good. Limited rights. I just, I increased your rights. Why, why does that, that should have accepted as well. Nobles demand rights. Nope, you won't have it. Bourgeoisie is no longer pleased. I'm not going to give them any rights. They have no rights. With unrest in Gwynedd and Glamorgan. Well, it sucks for them. Venice lost that war. Good for them. So, this is still probably... Well, maybe. We'll try. Yep, it's possible. Good. Alright, so we should now have enough range to send a colonist. And we do. Cool. Alright, so actually... You think we'll be able to send a colonist over here? No. Okay. So yeah, this is the first time we can actually colonize. Very nice. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, Protestantism is on the rise. But it's not really terrible yet. France has a province. Protestant province. They're trying to get rid of it too. Pass Conventicle Act. What does it do? No, I don't want that. Don't talk to me about it. I guess I should also turn off these guys. Utilize the courts. 
to protect and expand the Duke's interest. I mean... Uh, we should probably do that. However, that was the end of this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to think about what I will do with these courts. I might use them next episode. Um, also, look forward to the beginning of the colonization. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how things work out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Steve Tronka, signing off.